Okay, so hey family, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back now. And if you read that title down below, then you should already know what we're getting into today. So I'm cooking a seafood bowl for y'all, just like the Juicy Crab. It's my first time, uh, my first attempt. So I'm going to try to make it do what it do. And I suggest myself that I record it, show it to y'all. Maybe y'all want to try the recipe yourself and see how it work out for y'all. So, um, yeah, we're going to jump into this video because I'm kind of hungry already. So, I'm about to show y'all what I'm going to be using to do the crab oil. And then we're actually going to start getting it all together. So, come on with me, y'all. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so just a quick overview of some of the things that I'm using. So, I got the uh, Tony's Creole seasoning, some black pepper, got some adobo seasoning, some seasoning salt onion powder garlic powder the zatarain's uh shrimp and crab oil liquid cayenne pepper some celery salt some um lemons because i'm going to be using fresh lemon juice instead of the lemons in the lemon juice in the container got some minced garlic i have a white onion some new orleans style uh a dewy sausage um some butter some corn on the cob. There's only six coming here because I'm only doing a single serve. It's just me and Kaylin, of course. Um, some shrimp, some Atlantic red crab, two pounds of that. And I got a, a roaster liner. You're gonna need these. I don't even know if these are the right one, but these are the only thing they had at Walmart. So I grabbed these, they was a dollar. Um, I got me two eggs and I got me some uh, red potatoes. So um, the reason why I have these things in the pots is because we actually need these to boil and cook down a little bit before we put them in a bag. So yeah, this is um, everything that I have. This is what we're going to be using, y'all. So let's go ahead and get in. So like I mentioned before, we're going to have these uh, eggs and potatoes boiling for a little while while we prep everything else just so we can soften these potatoes a little bit so it doesn't take them forever to get soft when they're in the boil um, bag and we're going to cook these all the way through so they don't crack and have egg yolk and stuff mixed in with the crab boil juice so yeah so I got these up on high and I have these up on low because we don't want these to cook cook we just want it to soften up a little bit and so yeah um while we're waiting on that i got my oven already preheated in on 400 just because we're going to end up putting the whole thing in the oven anyway to cook all together so i want the oven to already be nice and hot and ready like little caesars so yeah let's continue the rest of the process okay so real quick i got my lemon sliced so i can squeeze it i got me an onion chopped up that white onion i was telling y'all about and i got my andouille sausages all chopped you see the uh, potatoes, they doing what they do. The eggs are boiling, getting ready to be done in a little while. So we go ahead and get whip this, um, this liner out right here. And we're going to start just putting everything on up in there. Okay, so family, while we are waiting on the boiling items to finish up on the last little couple of minutes, I'm going to go ahead and just start uh, proportioning out my seasonings. So, um, like I said, I'm only doing a single serving. It's just me and Kayla eating it. So, I'm going to do a tablespoon of each of the seasonings that I mentioned before. I'm going to make sure I put it back up on the screen so you guys can get another overview of all the seasonings that I told y'all about. So, yeah, I'm going to use one tablespoon. Now, if you're doing two servings, you're going to do two tablespoons, three servings, three tablespoons, and so on and so forth. I'm not going to insult child intelligence. We're just going to go ahead and jump right into it.
Oh, I definitely got the wrong bag. Oh, I got the wrong bag, but we gonna make it work. We gonna make it work, I promise. Give me one second. This bag is extremely large, but we finna make it do what it do. Um, what do I wanna start with? My shrimp. Got my shrimp. It still got the tail on it, y'all. But they clean, they uh deveined, all that is no boo boo and all that stuff in there. We're gonna dump them in there. I knew I should have got snow crabs. Me trying to be different. It ain't gonna be no meat in these things. Oh my God, Jasmine. Why did you get these? Let me rinse these off. I have to eat the whole. Oh, it just stabbed me. That's what I get from talking about. Oh, wee. I'm gonna have to eat the whole thing. The whole box. But these ain't these ain't these. I should have got the other kind of snow crab. Like I said. Thing. Yeah, look how skinny these things is. I should have got the snow crab. I got these because Walmart literally was running. So I got these crabs because um, they was running low in Walmart. All they had were these and they had snow crabs, but they were already pre-cooked. And I didn't want pre-cooked, I wanted fresh. So that's why I went ahead with these, but I would, mm, no. You can't win for losing with Walmart, child. I swear, but put my corn in there. I'm just gonna put two. I don't know if I wanna put three or not. Yeah, I think I put three. Just to fill up this big old bag. Um. I'm going to let me take these off. Go ahead and put my onion and my lemon. I mean, my onion and my andouille sausage. Um, and then I'm going to squeeze my. I'll put my egg in there. Oh, can't forget about the egg and the sausage. I mean, and the potatoes, y'all. I'm just all discombobulated. Now I'm going to squeeze this lemon juice all up in there get it in there mm -hmm. now squeeze this squeeze it Very squeezed lemons. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna put my seasonings in there, pour it over everything. This looks like a lot of seasoning, y'all. It do, but I just pray it ain't gonna be too salty. So um I'm gonna take a tablespoon of the Zatarain's crab ball. Pour it. I'm going to put it in there like that. I'm going to do two tablespoons just because I don't think that, that's enough. Let me see. Just like that. Mm. 
and then we're gonna do the hot sauce. Now, if y'all don't like spicy, then refrain from the hot sauce and all that cayenne pepper and stuff like that. Y'all can refrain from using some of it if y'all don't like spicy. But I'm going more for not spicy, spicy, but I need to feel it. I need to feel a little kick. And then our garlic. And I actually want a little bit more garlic, so I'm going to do two tablespoons of this. And then we're going to go in with four sticks of butter. Here go Kaylin, y'all. She right here next to me trying to get to the butter. One. Two. I was talking crap about this bag being too small, but it just might be the right size. <laughs> After I don't put all this stuff in here. Just might be the right size, my love. Um, and then after we do that, I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, chicken broth and put it in there. Just a little bit, just so it can get a little juice in there how I like it so hold on real quick y'all so I have me some chicken broth and I'm gonna just pour it over it uh -oh, gotta take the piece off just pour a little bit just like that boom that's it that's all we gonna use that's it that's all that's it that's all Close it up. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna have to double bag this because these crab legs is poking through. But y'all see how I just shook it up so I can get that seasoning to move around in there. That's what y'all want to do. But I'm finna double bag mine. Y'all might want to double bag yours. Um, just to be safe on the safe side. And because I don't want my juice to leak out. Because these crab legs did kind of just poke a hole through me while I was shaking it up. I use the wrong bag. Use the crab bag. Do not be this thick. With they stuff. It do not. But you just want to tie it up. So you just want to um, tie it up real
you guys so this is the uh crab ball i'm about to get ready to throw it in the oven it is heavy um i got the wrong bags like i said these bags is not juice crab bags do not be this thick at the top so i know i got the wrong bags but um like i told y'all earlier i had my oven preset at 400 i had my oven preset at 400 so now all i have to do is just take this and put it in there you're gonna let this cook for about an hour and 30 minutes you want to come back and check it in the halfway point just to shake it up and stir it and make sure that you get enough seasonings and everything um cooked now all over all the ingredients that you got in the bag so yeah we're gonna pop this in the oven and we're gonna let it go for an hour and 30 then we're gonna come back and check it okay y'all i'm back it's been about an hour and 30 minutes now um it's ready to come out oven so we finna go ahead and take it out it smells so good i did come back and check it um probably like 45 minutes into it just so i can shake the bag up and get all those flavors from the bottom to the top and all over the seafood so we about to go ahead and take it out and see what it's giving because i'm hungry so this is what the bag looks like fresh out of the oven <clears throat> it is swole y'all it's popping i can see those crab legs in there and that seasoning so i'm just trying to let the bag kind of go down because as y'all can see it's deflating because i don't want to just open the bag and i kind of get burnt or something from you know the smoke so i'm just letting it deflate for a little bit and then i'm gonna open it up and we're gonna see what it look like on the inside and the bag is open now, y'all. This is what it looks like. It smells really, really good. It smells really good. And I cannot wait to try it. So, y'all, if y'all like this recipe and y'all think it came out okay and you want to try it yourself, feel free to do that. Leave me some comments. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. And I will see each and every one of y'all in my next one. Peace out.